Oh, we're getting pushed back pretty hard here. That's not good. Hmm. I wonder if we, if we should try a new approach. What am I closest to leveling up? I am closest to leveling up engineer, though. I like to level up. I like watching bars go up and numbers pop up and things go bing. It's the best thing. Up, oh, that's it. No, look. Up, oh, hello. And for once, you know, in this game, I I, I kind of want to play a little bit of anything. Used traditionally in battlefield games, I I focus on recon and assault. But this game actually might let me enjoy support a lot. An engineer is always useful even if I don't enjoy playing as it. And kind of even more so in this game because everything everything's just pretty balanced. There's a lot of useful things in, in every class, in every vehicle, in every... Everything's fun to do. And has function and I really don't want to be in here so I'm just gonna... Hope I can parachute back to... Ah! Oh, I thought I'd take fall damage. I, I lost I lost my place, I don't know what I was talking about. Yeah, every class is useful. If, so far it seems if it really feels like it. More so than, than in Quantum Four Two at least. And played for free for that matter. Which are I, I keep bringing those two up because it's the most recent games. It's actually the mo the ones I have the most experience with. Quantum Forty Two especially, but then I also played a lot of P four F during the beta. And a little bit after. Okay, so I can't stand behind this corner and still capture it. That's a little bit silly. But I can stand behind here and still Oh god! Hello. Um, ni nice to see you. Ow! I saw that coming. I have no idea where enemies are expected to come from. And that's not just because I haven't played this map before more than... Well, I've, I've, I've haven't played it at this point. I'm gonna have played it for an hour by the time this match is over. You know what I mean, though. Let's see... I should stick close to my squad and play Assault so I can get in a bunch of revives so I can unlock the farmhouse, so I can try that. From what I've seen of it, I've looked it up on you... Uh, I haven't looked it up specifically, but I've looked up videos of, of the game on YouTube since I started playing. To boost my learning a little bit. And the farmhouse doesn't seem like something I'd enjoy using. Which is a shame, because it, it's, it's, it's one of those guns that... You know how sometimes you have favorites of things that don't make sense to have favorites of? Like, you can have a favorite car, not because the car is good, but because there's something about it that you like. The FAMAS is that for me. I love that gun. Not for any particular reason. I'm not saying it's a good gun. I'm not saying it's the best gun. I just love it. That's it. That's all there is to it. So I'd like to at least try using it. Maybe I can get good at it just because I happen to like it. And then it'll all be worth it. Ah, oh, there's more guys down there. I'm not very happy about that. Ooh, I wonder if they can see my laser dot. Well, they're capturing the... ...thing, so there's... Th oh man, I didn't get either of them? Oh, that's a shame. I should just RPG'd them at that point. I was considering throwing a grenade, but I thought, I don't think I can nail it to that to get both of them. Nail it to that. <laughs> I don't think I can hit the right spot to get both of them at that, from that point. Alright, over here. Oop. Here we go. Crouch, aim. Oh, crap! <sighs> Downside of there not being a magazine pool and instead an ammo pool is that I keep wasting time reloading when I have plenty of ammo left in the magazine. Just in ca- oh crap, there's like five of them! Like, I have a 20 round magazine and I fire 10 and then I reload because what if there's two more around the corner? I need all of those 20 rounds to take out two enemies. And then one guy shows up and I'm sitting there going, man... If I hadn't reload, I would've been able to take out one guy with those 10 rounds, but I decided to reload in case there were two. But there weren't two, there were one. So I would've been fine. What? And I would not do that if, if reloading with half the magazine left meant wasting half the magazine. Oh. 
Oh, shit. I fully expected to die. I just was hoping to at least get one hit off on that thing before. Before dying. I've worked out a lot better than I thought it would. One of the things I do not know about this game yet is where to hit tanks. How many shots it's expected to hit a tank or to kill a tank if you hit him from behind or if you hit him from the side or from the front. All those things that you can know about a game without being skilled at the game, I have yet to learn. I mean, I, I know where you want to hit a tank. You probably want to hit it on the, tra uh, the, 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 the tracks or from behind. That's usually the weak points. But I don't know how many shots it's expected to take. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know how to act, really. This is something I need to observe and practice and read up on and all those things. That was him again. That was Sparkulous, Sparkulous Rex. One of those names that I look at, and as soon as I look away, I forget Spixilus. Spik it's like the silence. As soon as, as, long as, as, as soon as I'm not looking at him, I forget him. Or I forget his name. His name is the silence. Uh oh. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Aww. I ran around the corner and then the latency was like, no, you didn't. Not from my point of view. You got shot in the back before you rounded the corner. So there. <sighs> That's online gaming for you. There's a tank down there. I'm not sure where da down there is. I just saw it on the spectator cam. We shot him. We shot him. Why is he dead? Why is my friend dead? Oh! He just got dominated. Okay, focus. I can't. I can't make this. I can't let this keep up. I need to. Uh, what? 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 Do I, what do I need to do? Oh, it's our tank that I'm looking at. That's. That's better. Okay, we got it anyway. That's cool. Okay, I'm switching back to salt. I'm gonna. Use the. That's a shotgun. I've never even used that. Not a once. Um, yeah, let's go from alleyway with the AEK 9256 I have no idea what this gun is actually called. Oh, shit! Oh, God. Here you go. That was crazy. I don't know what just happened. Oh, God. No, 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 move. Huh. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, we caught alleyway. Let's... We caught... Captured. We captured alleyway. We did not catch alleyway. Ah! This building has a really weird shape. Who lives in a house that looks like this? Oh, God! Never mind the shape. It doesn't exist anymore. Ow. What's an... Is that a shotgun? 870. Yes, it is. Still learning the game, folks. I don't know what's called what... Still. Mm. Am I supposed to keep going from alleyway? Toward B. Or A. But we're capturing. Ah! It's Pixel as Rex. With a shotgun. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do, how to feel about that. I want to keep playing Engineer because I'm close to leveling up. Re relatively speaking, I'm close to leveling up. Not really, though. What else can I attach to this gun? Do I have what I want to on the AEK? Do I have something that I should be using that I'm not using? I'm gonna look at that next time we spawn. Hey, dudes over there, according to the minimap. Apparently, shooting your gun makes you show up on the minimap. Unless it's a suppressed gun. This is not something I'm used to because 2142 do not have suppressed weaponry. That was not that was not a gameplay mechanic back then. It is now. So that's something worth keeping in mind. I'm considering switching to like an all suppressed loadout or something. Here. I think he asked for, uh, maybe automatically, 
asked for health because he had the health icon under his name. I think that's what that means. I'm still learning these things. Again, the interface, the, the, especially when people request things. I'm used to there being a message in the upper corner that says, hey, give me X. And then I'm expecting to see that icon on the minimap from who said it. And if I look straight at them, I expect their name to Watch blink. All those three things happened in Tournament 42 when someone requested something. It was very clear about, hey, this guy just said something. Look at the minimap if, if you didn't see exactly where it was. Look at the chat if you didn't see exactly what he said. Or just look at the icon over his head. I swear there was an enemy here. Where did he go? I think he's dead now. Here. I, I guess it's a good practice to just drop everything wherever you can, whenever you can. Doesn't hurt to share if you're playing support or assault. Um, look at the look at the signs of those icons on the minimap, the defibrillator, heartbeat signs. It's like, well, I want to save this guy, but I don't know where he is because the map is just uh, it's just a big fat icon. I find it really hard to see exactly where it is because it's so huge. Oh god, I ran too far out. There you are. I don't think I didn't see you there. Ah, he's already dead! Oh. AK-971. That's a weird number. What does that mean? What does 971 mean? Um... I guess push from the alleyway again? I think 2142 also had a thing where if someone was too far away for you to reasonably make it to them in time to defibrillate them, they wouldn't show up on the map. That doesn't seem to be the case in this game, because look at that mini map. There's just defib icons everywhere. Oh yeah, I was gonna that's what I was gonna do. I was I was like I am sure I'm forgetting something again, but I always forget things, so I don't know. But yeah, so I forgot to to check out my loadout. That's what I was going to do. Well, we already have A. We already have B. Now they have G and F? We have a complete switcheroo there. A neat thing. If you if you're if you're trying out things like the laser sight and you're wondering what how exactly does this affect my weapon? The laser sight specifically you can turn on and off with uh, default is T to turn off your flashlight or your laser sight. And if you mash T to turn it off when you have it, you can visibly see the size of your crosshair increasing or decreasing as you switch it on and off. That is very useful. Because what the laser sight does is increase your hip fire accu accuracy and dazzles your enemy or reveals your position depending on how you oh, look at me I'm friggin what's her face from mirror's edge now faith jumping between rooftops I think there's a map in I, I, I believe it, it can only reasonably be uh, the close holy crap I was hoping it wouldn't turn around I want to get closer so I could make sure to hit them both that was a stupid thing to do, I should have just shot. Yeah, I think it's in the close quarters, combat, close, combat, close, whatever it's called, expansion pack. There's this one map that has a bunch of rooftops rooftops that people are jumping between. Or it was the Team Deathmatch version of another map that, I don't know. Still learning the game, folks, still learning the game. You have to bear with me. Hopefully that makes it fun to watch for some of you, though. Because I like watching people do things for the, f not the first time, but some of the first times. Now, after a while, once they get used to everything, the novelty of watching it sort of wears off. At least to me, that's how I feel. Stop dying! Mine! Haha, <laughs> I got him. Not you. Here. Oh god, you're both dead. No? Oh, he was already dead. Maybe it was re -dead, dead If you get killed too quickly after reviving, after being revived, you cannot be revived a second time. It's a good balance thing. That's smart. Oh man. I'm having some framework troubles, that's weird. I've been able to record virtually every map I've played before. 
without any frame repair. Again, it might just be that I have to restart the computer. We'll find out. Because I've had it on for quite a while, rendering and editing a bunch of videos, so it's probably running low on RAM or something. I don't know. Let's see where to go and what to do. Well, we're going to GNF, clearly. Or we're losing this map. Match. Round. Fight. Battle. Fight harder, man. I like that there's so much moving. I genuinely could not tell for a moment there if my periphery detected an enemy running across the street or if it was just paper. The shadows on Caspian and the forest parts on Caspian border have the same effect on me. I routinely do not know if I'm looking at enemies or moving shadows. God. That's crazy. And I love that. I love being confused. That's like staring into the sun and wondering, wait, is there someone there? there? I can't see him because the sun is in the way. I like that. I like having information occluded to me by the environment. It makes the gameplay more interesting to me. Why did I spawn on B? I seem to have forgotten. I still haven't checked my friggin' loadout. Alright, oh still, I don't have the grenade launcher. I wanted to see if you could blow a hole. I, I guess you cannot blow a hole in this particular worm because otherwise, maybe. Ah, shit! Shit. Hey, wait! I tried knife him and it, and it missed and it kept the knife instead of switching back to the gun. Maybe I didn't actually miss. No, he has 100 health. I did miss. Why did it not switch back to the gun after I missed the knife? That's what it's supposed to do, isn't it? Isn't it? I, I, I'm pretty sure I've knifed people before. Like, if you're just knifing and it switches back to the gun. It didn't do that. It stick, stayed with the knife. What, why did it do that? Yes, I'm blaming the game. Ah, that was totally supposed to be a double kill. Ah, there's three of them. Couldn't... Amphi Amphibia quit. Swedish names all over the place. I'm not even sure if I can translate that one, though. Thank you. Have some health. Ah, there we go. I am a lifesaver. That's kind of the definition of reviving someone when they're about to die. That's a potential gripe I have with this game, too. All the dialogue, there's so much of it, there's so many different voices saying so many weird different things. Instead of just, you know... Thanks. When you press the thanks button. Then it's really difficult to tell what people are actually saying, and who's saying what, and it's so low compared to the gunshot and everything. Which makes it, this game sounds amazing. This game sounds almost better than it looks, almost, not quite. It sounds fabulous, though. I can't believe I just used the word fabulous unironically. <laughs> I wanted to say fantastic, but I felt like I can't use that word too much. I should try to switch it up and it came out as fabulous. Um. Um. What was. Ow! Yeah, it sounds good. But it makes it hard to identify, like, who's shooting from where, what gu type of gun is shooting from where, who's shouting what from where, and sometimes when it's something like, hey, I need ammo, and you didn't hear them say it, it's impossible to know that somewhere around you needs ammo. Let's see now. I have the hollow sight, the infrared sight, that's interesting. I've used that once, actually, on Metro, that was really cool. I need to remember I have that. And the red dot sight, I like the hollow, because it's a little bit in between. I have grip bipod, and the rail for the grenade launcher. And the run is over, so I can't keep looking. Well, I have to switch away the heavy barrel if I want to use something like the suppressor or the laser sight. And the heavy barrel, heavy barrel increases damage on range, of ra uh, over long range, basically. I think it decreases the damage drop off of range, which I like, because I like using guns at range. But I'm not as good as it with the AEKs. I was within 16, so I might, I might reconsider. We'll see. We'll see. these ribbons. So many ribbons. I just like watching things count up. I, for now, I'll get tired of it eventually, I think. But for now, I like watching that. Ah, uh, more things coming up. Didn't really get anything there. Okay, so, here we go. That's... Eh, 